Hello everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Terra. Hope everybody's well. Yeah, I'm doing a bonus round this month because my energies have been all jacked up and I completely skipped a zodiac sign and it's cancer season. <laughs> so, you know what? Um, I've been seriously in my feels all month long. So I'm just, yeah. <laughs> but cancer is moving into Leo. So, I don't know, maybe I'm feeling the surge because I'm moving into a fire sign. I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling the fire, I guess. So, we're just going to hop right to it, Virgo. This is going to be your bonus. Changing things up a little bit. It's going to be a three card instead of a five. Well, four if you count the overall, but still. Mm. Quick, short, sweet, to the point. Trying to, you know... See if I missed anything. See if anything anything new comes out. I don't know. I just felt compelled to do bonuses this month. Because some y'all had some wacky energies, let me tell you. Okay, Virgo, you're up first for the bonus because I skipped you. So, this reading be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Anything left out of the month of July? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Anything I missed? Anything else that needs to come out? Anything else Virgo needs to know? What's up, Virgo? Um, just throwing this out there. The last reading I did, your future was clarified by the Nine of Swords. So, well, what has you so anxious? I wonder. What's going on? <laughs> Are some of you already into that future? Some of you already questioning something? Let's see what happened. Hierophant reversed. Yeah, some didn't work out. Okay. Two of Wands. Moving forward, letting go of the past. Six of Pentacles reversed. Uneven give and take. Uneven match of energies, perhaps. We'll see what else comes out. What's up with your other person? Five of swords reversed. They are not accepting this defeat. Nope. Queen of wands reversed. Princess of swords. Full reversed. Okay. Super weird. Let's go with it. Clarity for Virgo, please. Clarity for Virgo. Why the Nine of Swords for Virgo? Ace of Cups. You're anxious. 
over something new. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good thing. It's okay to be a little bit anxious. Don't be all up in your head. Okay? Don't be all up in your head about it. Something new has come in. Okay. Okay. Or you want something new to come in. We'll throw one more on it. One more. <laughs> Why are you anxious over something new? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The Fool and the Three of Swords. What if I jump in and get my heart broke again? Okay. What if you jump in and get your heart broke again? So don't jump. Take your time. It's that easy. Don't jump. You can still be the fool and walk the new path and trust in it and take your time. You realize that, right? Just take your time. With it. Don't don't get all up in your head and manifest a bad ending. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Why are you doing that to yourself? Okay. I'll throw one on this two of wands for you real quick. Like I said, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Because I want to kind of... you got to figure out where you are to figure out where you were to figure out where you were going. Death. On top of a two of swords, a transformation here. It's transformation. You're letting go of the old shit. You're bringing in the new shit. You're walking your path. The world is at your fingertips, Virgo. It's transformation here. You're changing. The cocoon is about to bust open. And the butterflies are going to come out. That's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love this for you, Virgo. One more on that. One more on that. Ten of Wands reversed. Oh, shit. You understand that this is the stuff that stops transformation, right? You know you gotta let go of the wand. You gotta let go. Because this is gonna lead to this. Self sabotage. Do not self sabotage, Virgo. Don't do it. Don't self sabotage. Don't start pounding the nails into the coffin the day it's born. Okay? Don't do that. Don't do that. Why are you doing that? All right. Okay. Okay. Let's catch the other person real quick before we figure out where you were. Why is the five of swords reversed here? Because there's somebody in this mix that is not accepting a defeat, that is fighting an ending, which is causing all this crap going on with you. Why is five swords reversed here? The world. Fighting the ending. Not accepting the defeat. It's over. They know it's over. Shadow side, they're still obsessed with you. They still feel the pull to you. They still feel the tie. They don't want it to be. They know it's over, but they're not accepting it because they're obsessed. They're obsessed. All right, let's figure out where you were. No, no, we're going to clarify this Princess of Swords first. Hold on. Because this is communication. Why is the Princess of Swords here? Magician reverse, son of a bitch. Manipulation. Manipulation. This is the charming trickster who's going to say anything or do anything to prevent you from moving on. One more. 
I'm getting sick to my stomach right now. I'm getting sick to my stomach. Ten of Swords reversed. They are going to say or do anything that they can think of to stop this from ending. To prevent you from moving on. They're in your head. They're making you question it. Wow, I'm not even throwing any more on that. Why is the Hierophant reversed here for the past? Strength. It took a lot of strength to walk away from this. It took a lot of strength from you to accept this was not meant to be. a lot of strength to hold back. I'm sure you have feelings for this person. If you didn't have some kind of feelings for this person, they wouldn't be trying to play on them. Six of Wands reversed. The Hanged Man reversed. You accepted the defeat. You accepted the defeat as graciously as you could. There's still a little bit of a part of you that was hung up on it. And they know that. A little bit. Because otherwise you wouldn't be anxious as shit right now. Temperance reversed. There's a lot of negative energy here. A lot of negative energy. Imbalance. Probably the same unequal give and take and an equal reciprocity that's in the future. And you know that. That's why you walked away. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here for them? Because this is why you gave up on it. That's a lack of forward movement. Queen of Cups reversed, a lack of emotion. Queen of Wands in there, but probably a lot of good, a little something, some sugar and spice and all things nice. But there's no emotion behind it. It's probably what they use to manipulate you. It's not the kind of action you needed. I'm telling you that right now. You needed the emotional, not the physical. One more. Four of Wands reversed, and the tower came tumbling down. This is my little minor arcana... If I can make words work right now. This is my little minor arcana tower. The tower came crashing down. Didn't we just talk about this? We just talked about this when I did your July reading. The, okay, so we're playing out the same scenario. It's playing out. This, we're going to get the stuff that I missed. Manipulation. Manipulation. Okay, what's coming in? Short, sweet, and to the point. Six of Pentacles reversed. They are in your head, and they know it. This, this is going to stop your transformation. They're trying to stop it. Oh, God. Okay. I'm so glad I busted out the Crystal Power Tarot for this. Beautiful cards, right? Okay. They have little sayings on the bottom. I follow my own path. Can you guys read that or is it backwards? It's probably super fuzzy. I'm sorry, my camera's shitty. I follow my own path. They are trying to stop you. You're questioning the path. It's dark. They're going to try to pull you back into the darkness. Unequal give and take. They're trying to, trying to manipulate you to stop you from moving forward. You're questioning the path. 
you're questioning your decisions. You're all up in your head because you're afraid if you move on, you're going to get your heart broke again. Queen of Cups, King of Cups reversed. Emotional closing off. This isn't the marriage card. Right now, this is the life lesson card. This is the teach me card. This is the teacher student card. Yes, yes, this is a soulmate connection. Yes, you two are probably soulmates. Yes, this came into your life to teach you something. Why the Hierophant? Sorry, the High Priest. High Priest, Hierophant, same card, different deck. Why the High Priest? Why the high priest? Sun reversed. Why the sun reversed? Why the sun reversed? This panel was reversed. The seed was not meant to grow. The seed was not meant to grow. This was not your happiness. This was not the connection that was supposed to make you happy. This was the connection that was supposed to teach you something. And I think it's supposed to teach you that you are worthy of spiritual evolution. You are worthy of what the universe has in store for you. You don't need to worry. You don't need to be all up in your head and worry. What if I fall flat on my face again? You don't need to worry about that. Don't self-sabotage it, Virgo. Don't. Don't. You've got to worry about that. Give me one more on this. Don't emotionally close yourself off to it. Don't put nails in the coffin before it's born. Page of Swords upright. Something coming in. Something honest and true coming in. Ten of Pentacles reverse. This isn't your happiness. This, this manipulation and bullshit is not happiness. This all sex and no love and a tower that's already on the ground, this isn't your happiness. Your happiness is coming. But it's not this. It's whatever new is coming in for you. Why is the full reverse here for the other person involved in this scenario? They're gonna miss you when you're gone. By all means, Virgo, do you. Emotionally close yourself off to this son of a gun that you're dealing with because they're just a manipulative twit. A match that was never meant to strike. Ain't nothing new. Let them miss you. But don't close yourself off to this new beautiful thing that's coming in for you. Don't do this. Because you're afraid of a rerun. Don't do that. It doesn't have to be a rerun. It's only going to be a rerun if you self-sabotage into a rerun. You gotta release it and you gotta let it go. Because change is coming for you. Beautiful, wonderful change is coming for you. And we're gonna use the Crystal Power Tarot for advice this time. Oh, yeah. This is the one we're gonna use. All in the upright. Mm -hmm. 
I like the little messages. I follow my own path. I follow my own path. Follow your path. Trust the path. Trust the light. Trust the path and the light. This person came onto your path for a reason. It, yes, it hurt. Yes, it sucked. But you learned something from it. You learned what you're worth. You learned what you're worth. Ah! Come here. Oh no, come on. Okay. I am always rewarded for all I do. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. There's something coming for you. There's something solid and stable coming for you. You will get your reward at the end of the day. Four of Swords. I take the time I need to rediscover my vitality. Rest. Let the good stuff come. Virgo, I love you. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Thinking, you know, if you want to see more, that's how you do it. You think a friend needs to see it, that's how you do it. Hit the notification bell if you want to hear more later on. Take care. Know that you love to be blessed. I'm on to the next.